Hey folks, this is Peter Boykin running for Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina. I've also posted this. As we conclude yet another week in the landscape of Joe Biden's America, it's crucial to take stock of the prevailing sentiments and statistics that reflect the pulse of our nation. Firstly, the latest figures on President Biden's average approval ratings indicate a continuing trend. Presently, approximately 40.5% of Americans express approval. I'd like to know who those people are and if they're blind. While 56.5% voice their disapproval of his administration's policy and actions. We all know that number should be completely different and uh, much higher of an approval. These numbers paint a clear picture of the divided viewpoints prevalent across the nation. Secondly, electoral integrity remains a focal concern among a substantial portion of voters. A significant 62% of the electorate echoes sentiments that cheating had an impact on the outcome of the 2020 election. This statistic underscores the ongoing debate and the level of distrust concerning the electoral process. Lastly, an alarming statistic emerges regarding the prevalent sense of insecurity among the populace. A staggering 63% of Americans consider crime to be a serious problem. And this figure resonates with the growing unease and apprehension felt by many communities across our nation, prompting discussions on safety and law enforcement measures. Now, these statistics underscore the diverse challenges and opinions characterizing our society today. They highlight the need for honest discussions, decisive actions, and a concerned effort to address the concerns of the American people. Regardless of where each of us stands on these issues, it's imperative to recognize the importance of unity in the face of adversity. Understanding differing viewpoints, engaging in constructive dialogue, and seeking common ground are pivotal steps towards navigating these challenging times. Let us use these statistics not as points of division, but as catalysts for thoughtful discussions and meaningful progress. Because together, let's strive to a future that reflects the values and aspirations of all Americans. You can check out my website at peterboykin.com, and I hope I can get your vote during the primary and if I get elected in the primary in the general. And if not, still go out and vote. We need your vote. All votes matter.